Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Steers and here coming at you with another video. And today I am bringing you a very special unboxing of the Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Collector's Ultra Edition from our friends over at Right Stuff and Nozomi Entertainment. Um, I've already taken a quick look at this uh, yesterday. I got it last night. I'd say it's um, really, really, <laughs> really, really nice set. Um, and I don't know how many of these are making, so I'd say... Um, if you like this, right after the unboxing, go uh, order this um, as quickly as possible because I'm not sure how long this will be in stock. Anyways, let's dive right into this unboxing. So, <clears throat> right here on the top, you can see it's kind of hard just because it's so dark and then the glare. But we have what's supposed to be the Wing Gundam right there on the top. And then we have the little Mobile Suit Gundam Wing logo right there and then here we can see a little better we have the wing gundam again with hero and then more wing gundam right there then we have the whole squad on this side right there looking good then we have the main baddie right here on the back with the what is it the epion gundam i think and then i think that's the endless the actual wing zero right the actual winged Gundam back there the one with the actual wings angel wings and then just more of the main squad right there and then back to the front and then here on the bottom flip this around and this is just what it looks like you know description of all of the goodies and all that stuff so the box just pops open just like this slide the top off right there nothing on the inside just pitch black and the first thing that we see on here is the mobile suit gundam wing collectors ultra edition art box um, this is a huge huge art book um, obviously i'm not going to go through every page but there's some a lot of nice stuff in here so right there that's the first page then we're going to have a little uh, glossary of everything. So I'm just going to kind of flip through this. We have a lot of art. Really nice. Some really nice art pieces from the anime. Looking super nice. And then we have some, it looks like, interviews with staff. More art. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a really, yeah. This is a super nice piece right there. And this is super high quality, <clears throat> excuse me, paper. And uh, yeah, they they, uh, they really outdid themselves on this on this book. This is probably one of the best art books to come with any series. So we have more just character designs and sketches and little blurbs. Then we have the uh, Mecha Design Gallery. So we got the Wing Gundam, Wing Gundam Zero, Wing Gundam Zero Endless Waltz version, Death Scythe, Death Scythe Hell. Gundam Sandrock, Sandrock Custom, the Endless Waltz version, Heavy Arms, Ultron Shenlong, there's the Epion, Tall Geese, Tall Geese 3, but you get the picture, it has all the, it has all the suits in here. Um, then we have some more uh, battleships, and then it looks like we have some storyboards in here, that's pretty awesome. And then right here at the back, which I thought was really cool, we actually have like almost, not every, maybe it is every, but um, a lot of Gunpla kits and what the boxes look like. I thought that was a super awesome addition. It's just, just the three pages, but I thought that as a, someone who builds Gunpla myself, a lot of it, I thought that was a super awesome extra to include. So that is what this art book contains. Super nice. Shout out to Right Stuff. They did a really good job on that. And then next up, <clears throat> looks like we have some. Just pull all of these out. We have some. Oh, come on now. Work with me. There we go. We have some like mini posters, and they fold out to give us two sides. I'm not sure if these are like old DVD covers or new art. Or something like that um, but anyways they're really nice they're mini fold-out posters uh, you could probably hang these up if you want 
but they're super nice so this isn't something that I'm gonna put a push push pin through and just throw on my wall um, the inside is just white I'm guessing so that the other images don't you know get contaminated with art on the back so yeah, this is really nice that's the first one it comes with three of them here's the second one right here looks like we have the wing Gundam zero from Madness Walt Waltz not Walt then right back there we have more of the squad so these are super nice pieces um, I'm impressed <clears throat> and then here's this one fold that out to make this some baddies this is a, this is a really nice one too look at the tall geese all screwed up right there it's got a spear jammed right into it with the arm missing that just looks fantastic and obviously nothing on the inside of that one so those are some little little posters and then here looks like we got the art cards so right here we just have the wing Gundam all all kinds of messed up right there looking savage then we have the squad right there and like some watercolor esque painting that looks really nice more of squad fam right there more squad fam <laughs> uh, and then last but not least we have my favorite one which we have all of the Gundams right there we got the wing heavy arms death scythe sand rock Shenlong or that's either Shenlong or Ultron but either way this is a super nice piece so that's it for all the art and I'm just trying not to make this slide over fall into the ground we have a couple extras left we have a pin set we have all of the main five right there um, pins I mean there aren't a lot of anime set or you know special editions and stuff like that I I don't I don't see the appeal to pins just because I'm not going to put them on anything. I mean, I guess if you have like a cork board, maybe you could like stick them in there or something. But I don't see like putting them on clothes. Maybe you could put them on some kind of binder or something. I'm not sure. But anyways, not for me. But, um, you know, I'm sure if they keep putting them in there, someone's got to like them, right? And that doesn't even focus. I don't know if it will with the, uh, the plastic wrap. Nah, oh well. By now, you should know what all the characters look like. And then here... We have the last extra. Just take this plastic wrap off real quick. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be tarot, tarot cards, but we have all of the main five, or maybe these are old, like, it's a DVD collection, so I'm not sure if these are old DVD case covers. But either way, these are really nice cards with some really great art on there. So we have what? Uh, does it say their names on here? I thought it did for a second. Tro, Tro Bar I mean, it says his name on that. Tro Barton. He, uh, I forget what Gundam he does. I think he's a Sand Rock? I'm not 100% sure. But then we have... Quatre Ribera, Riberba Winner? Is that his name? <laughs> Chang Wufi? Waifu? Does that say Waifu? <laughs> Um, so it's just five of these, the main five guys right there. Um, nothing on the back, just the Gundam Wing logo. So there's some uh, really nice art cards. And uh, yeah, cool little, cool little extra. So here, as you can see, we have our actual Blu-rays, the actual show. And these aren't anything different than the uh, standard Blu-ray releases that Right Stuff and Nozomi Entertainment put out. So... You know, it's just the standard Blu-ray release, so we have the front, the back, right there, this is collection one, so this is episodes 1 to 25. This dark tech, green text is really hard to read. And then just a little card right there. So here are the Blu-ray discs, right there. Flip that around. And then it looks like there is some uh, alternate kind of oh wait no is there yeah there is some kind of alternate uh, art you could flip around if you wanted to but I think I'll just keep it like these because it won't be on display then we have collection 2 which is 26 to 49 so there's the front 
the back. Here's the spine. Right there. Then on the inside, all the Blu-ray discs with some very nice disc art. Looks like we have all the mobile, other uh, all the Gundams, and then we got the Tall Geese right there. And it looks like it does have some alternate art in here as well. I'm not sure if it's the same as the other disc. And then here are the last two Blu-ray cases. Put this one to the side. We have the Mobile Suit Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. Here's the back. Move to the front one more time. And then it looks like includes both the OVA and movie versions of Endless Waltz as well as never before released Gundam Wing Operation Meteor. Additional extras include clean endings, promos, and original next episode previews. Cool. So we got the movie version and OVA version of Endless Waltz, and then some never before seen footage. So it looks like we got the Wing Zero EW right there. Just all the main main guys on the uh, on the discs. Pretty cool. Some more Gundam. The Wing Zero EW on that disc. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, you can definitely uh, flip the cover out for that one if you want to change it. And then last but not least, we have the Mobile Suit Gundam Ultra Edition Extras. I'm not. I didn't know there was going to be a whole nother disc for just extras. But this. Uh, let me read this off camera real quick. It comes with the Frozen Teardrop Picture Drama, Toonami English Credits, Interview with Producer. Hideyuki Tomioka, interview with scriptwriter Katsuyuki Sumisawa, and Otakon 2017 Sunrise Gundam Wing panel. So, like all the uh, interviews with staff and a little couple extras. So, yeah, pretty cool. We'll crack this one open and see what's inside. So, there's a disc right there Peacecraft, Yui, and the Gundam right there. And it looks like we get some alternate artwork right there. Actually, you know what? Um, I, that's it for the unboxing, but uh, let me uh, let me show you the uh, alternate artwork on all of these Blu-ray cases. I've never thought about just pulling it out real quick and actually showing you. So there's that one right there. It's just, these, I think these are just blank. Oh, I know. It has episodes on the back as well. <clears throat> so, second to last one. There you go. I guess the Wing Zero Custom right there. And then I'm guessing this one will just be the Wing Zero. Yeah, there you go. Right there. So yeah, um, that is everything for this unboxing. Gotta say, I'm really happy with this set. Um, you might be able to get a little cheaper on Amazon than off of Right Stuff. But I do want to let everyone know that they did have some uh, production difficulties. And some of the sets were delayed. I still got mine like the day after. Mine shipped out the day after the original release date. So I'm not sure how serious it was. But um, if you ordered from someone that isn't right stuff, then the chances that your set is being delayed is, you know... Eh, fairly fairly high but I they don't they said it wasn't a huge deal so I'm sure everyone will be getting their um, sets uh, sooner rather than later so yeah this um I have to say this is a really nice set um, the 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 pin set was really the only thing I could have gone without I was like just you, you, you be more creative than that and I mean what is a pin set I mean but uh, overall, Right Stuff did a fantastic job on this uh, lim Ultra or Collector's Ultra Edition. I feel like that's a little awkward to say, but um, whatever. Yeah, if they keep on doing sets like this, um, I'm gonna keep buying them for sure. Especially if they do it for Gundam. I was really hoping they're gonna do something for Gun G Gundam, but uh, well, uh, Gundam Wing is actually Sean Kleckner. He's the CEO of Right Stuff. This is his favorite Gundam series. So I'm not surprised in the least that they did something very special for it. Um, so yeah, I guess this is the third of 
three uh, pre-orders I have left to unbox for you guys. Um, I'm waiting on the Mobile Suit Gundam uh, Thunderbolt Bandit Flower Import Edition to come in. That, it, that might even be coming in today, or it'll definitely be in next week, so expect an unboxing of that. And then the last one we have is the Revolutionary Google Utena. I think that's also called the Collector's Ultra Edition, I think. Um, but that's a really uh, special edition also coming out by uh, Nozomi Entertainment and Right Stuff. So be looking forward to that because I definitely am. And then other than that, um, if you haven't seen my other video, I plan on doing an anime collection by the end of the year. A uh, Actually, you know, I'll save that. <clears throat> Just check my Twitter. I'm going to do anime collection, manga collection, figure and gun plug collection, and some other videos planned for the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Let me know what you guys thought of this set down in the comments. Let me know if you got one yourself, or if it was delayed, or if you decided not to get it. Um, just your general thoughts. I'd love to talk to you guys and read your comments. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this unboxing, you liked the set, enjoyed it, or liked anything I had to say, or just had a, you know, general good time. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this, unboxing, first impressions, reviews, even though I never do them. Um, hauls and all of that good weeb ish anyways thank you guys so much for watching this is mr steel senpai signing out and i'll see you next time